Hey guys, what's up? Joe's here. I was going to do a little experiment, proof of concept, if you will. Um, what I want to try to do is create a video using Loom and basically go through some of the pages on the school website and just talk about what I'm seeing on the screen. And I'm going to basically verbalize any test ideas that come to mind. And then what I'm going to do at the end, once I do that, I'm going to take the transcript and then I'm going to put it into ChatGPT and I'm going to see if ChatGPT can come up with a test plan for me and see how how good it is. Um, so it should be pretty good because it's going to be based off of my my, you know, what I'm saying, which is based off what I'm seeing. So, so yeah, so um, let's go to the school.com uh, homepage and let's not be logged in and we're going to be in a new private window. So then that way there's no cookies or anything set and it's going to be like essentially a brand new uh, session. So one thing that I would want to try is um, the search because that's very prominent on the middle of the page. So I'm going to make sure that the search is working properly. So what I might try to do is I might take some of the titles of the communities and pick some of those words that are in the, in those titles and see if I search for those words, will these things come up? Um, so for example, uh, the number one community is this Faye Films Academy. If I search for the word academy given that Faye films academy is the number one ranked course or community i would expect academy Faye films academy to show up so if i search for the word academy and Faye films academy shows up um what about if i just search for the word films Okay, so if I search for the word films, it doesn't show up. How about Faye? Okay, that one worked. Okay, so now if I want to clear the search, I can press the X in the search button in the search bar. Okay, it clears it, but it doesn't take me back home. So there's no way to take me back home. So that could be a possible an enhancement request. Um, so for me to get back home, I have to click the school logo. That's the only way back. Okay. So we might want to think about, is there any better way to do that? Okay. Now we're back here. So if I search for films, Faye Films does not show up. Now it says 37 results for films. Um, is it true that there's 37 communities here? Um, Wow. Okay. So next thing I would want to look at after the search is maybe clicking the login button. And then the email and password fields appear. And then there's a login button. So I need to test the email field, the password field, and make sure that the login button works. So I would need to do some positive and negative testing on this. Um, there's a forgot password link. We're going to want to make sure that that process works. Um, and then a sign up for free button uh, link. We're going to want to make sure that process works. When you click sign up for free, you have a first name, last name, email, and password, and a sign up button. You have links for terms and conditions and privacy policy, and you have a link for login. If you click off of the modal, it disappears. Okay. Um, at the bottom of the page, there is a pagination feature. Um, it looks like there is 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. It looks like 30 per page. So we have 30 and then 3, 6, 7. So it said 37 results for films. There's 30, actually 37 in the list. So that's good. And then we have other links at the bottom here. We have a community link, an affiliates link, careers, privacy, 
and we have some ellipsis where we have pricing, merch, and help center. Okay, so price, simple pricing. So we went to the simple pricing page. Um, and then one plan with everything included. There's a start 14 day free trial button. If we go back and then we go to merch. So this brings up the school stuff, merchandise, pretty cool. Might have to get this. I love this platform, it's amazing. It's only gonna get better. And there is a help center link as well. And then the help center has a knowledge base search. Um, you can search for member and admin related stuff. Um, there is a community link and there is a support link. Okay, so if you click the support link, it asks you to log in or you can send an email to help at school.com and there's a link for that email. There's links for the help center and the school community at the bottom of the support page. All right, let's go back. And then there's different articles that you can click on for each of the categories of um, knowledge-based topics. Okay, next we have on this page, the sign up button. Make sure that works. Um, and then we have this switch communities drop down. So we would want to try searching. We would want to try clicking the settings icon, try and create a community and discover communities. We want to make sure we tried all that functionality. Then if you kick, uh, click into one of the communities, so let's go to, let's go to our community. Then what can you do here? So you can try to join the group. You can view the gallery stuff. Um, if there's a link, you could click it. There's links on the right hand side you can click. There is a link to Software Testing University here. But when you click it, it doesn't do anything. So that's kind of interesting. That deserves some more investigation, I think. Or at least writing a bug or something. And then these are look like they're clickable, but they're actually not clickable right now because I'm not logged in. Um, we have this school logo that's clickable. And then what's interesting is my name is clickable. So if you click my name, it shows me you my activity. And you can see what communities I own. Um, you can see some information about me and my links and stuff like that. Um, you could see contributions for the groups that I've, that I'm a member of. Um, and you can do a filter based on posts and comments or just posts. Um, and that's about it. So this is the. I believe the extent of the non logged in user uh, experience. So let us stop the video and then we'll start a new video where we're taking the transcript from this video and then we'll continue in the next video.